people and it's gone on far too long. And People tease me because everything in my office either buzzes, beeps, or talks. Um, I'm here to talk about two things. Um, first of all, I'm a deaconess um, at the Apostolic Faith Pentecostal Church. I'm, I'm also what's called an independent living specialist, and I work for Prairie Independent Living Resource Center. And I, I was a, the product of rubella. Um, my mom is around my cousin who had rubella. They said, my mom was pregnant, and they said, oh, nothing will ever happen. Uh, wrong. Um, got here, I was very sick. I had to be in an incubator. Had to give me mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to get me to breathe. And I'm thankful that I will be 63 years old. And so, um, but because they didn't think I was going to live. I mean, the shots that they gave babies I didn't get them until I was five, because I wasn't supposed to live. So people would come around and talk to my parents. They didn't make a lot of money. And so therefore, um, they had to struggle to buy my glasses. And um, they were hundreds of dollars, because they were thick. And getting me to the doctors and getting me where I needed to be, thank God I had my parents and my grandparents. But now, I, have, I don't have them and I don't have my grandparents. So therefore, um, I have to get around to the best of my ability, which brings me to the, my topic of transportation. Transportation is a problem in Southwest Kansas. Yes, in Wichita and Topeka and Kansas City, you guys have all the uh, different Lyft and Uber and, and dr different drivers and different buses to get people from point A to point B. But in Western Kansas, to get somebody from Elkhart to Wichita or Hayes to a specialist to, uh, for their health, there's just not a way to get them there. So therefore, that is a big problem, not only for people with disabilities, um, but for people who don't have disabilities and can't drive for whatever reason. So that's, that's my first part of my concern. My second part has to do with funding. For years, um, we had an extra funder that could pay for equipment. And they, we could get funding. And we um, also asked the individuals to help pay for their, uh, their equipment. Well, um, now you think, well, you know, you can get equipment. It's, that's no problem. I have a magnifying glass. This is a 5X magnifier. Um, you think, oh, it's just a magnifying glass. Well, they used to be $10. They're not $10 anymore. They're $187. Wow. This magnifying glass cost $187. Wow. And I needed something that I could see you closer. And so we found something like this, a, a, a monocular, which costs 200 and some dollars. Okay, now we're up to $387. Okay, this is called, this is called a Pebble HD. Now this just happens to be, we've been playing with this. Um, and it makes it big print, but I can make it, and I'm making it huge. And, um, and it can go, and then because people with low vision don't always see the same thing. This cost $595. So we're talking about, so far I've shown you equipment that is 800 and some dollars altogether. And now, people who are on SSI, now it's up to 740. Well, I just showed you 800 and some dollars worth of, of equipment. So the funding is an issue for, and, and when you think about people in wheelchairs and who are in power chairs, I was doing some research and I saw a wheelchair for like uh, probably a thousand. Um, then I, I was talking to someone and they said that power chairs um, that there are, are made for people who have to have various, um, uh, a piece, parts of their body rearranged or whatever. It, we're talking about $25,000. So we're talking about a lot of money and no funding resources. 
um, these people, people who are poor do not have money to pay for equipment. Not only low vision folks, but walkers, wheelchairs, canes, uh, they, they have a right to have those things, but they can't be broken. I mean, people are refusing to buy medicine because they need equipment. Mm -hmm. And also, one of my concerns is when I went to vote, when the little sheet came out of the thing that showed what I voted for, I couldn't read it. It was in small print. It's something's got to be done to help people with disabilities. People have a right to live. That's right. <laughs> and it's gone on.